Anyone who's watched a lot of South Park know that Trey Parker and Matt Stone were big fans of Star Trek. Throughout South Park's 20 year run, they've used numerous Star Trek references and characters. But there are five episodes in particular that nearly mirrored Star Trek shows. One of these episodes was Season 2, Episode 11, Roger Ebert Should Lay Off the Fatty Foods. It's nearly the same plot of the Star Trek episode called Dagger of the Mind. It involved an evil doctor that could control people with a mind ray machine. Even the characters' names are the same, Van Gelding and Dr. Adams. Here are a few clip comparisons of those episodes. Jeez. We better get him to the nurse's office, stand! I'll give him a painkiller. That should calm him down. No, no painkiller. I'll be okay. Okay, uh, Van Gelder. Yeah. Okay, I I'm Counselor Mackey. Have you been smoking marijuana? Marijuana's bad. No, no, no. Don't hype on me. Please, don't hype on me. I'm trying not to fight. You. Uh, little Missy here runs the big projector for us. I love my work. Well, dude, you're only as old as us. Shouldn't you be in school? I love my work. This is Captain Kirk and Dr. Helen Noel. A lady came to us for rehabilitation and stayed on as a therapist. And a very good one, too, I might add. I love my work. Our minds are one. Okay. Our thoughts are one. This is the strangest thing I've ever seen. Please, nurse, for a woman with a dead fetus on your head, you're not being very open-minded. Our minds sharing the same thoughts as our name. Who are we? Well, let's begin, shall we? And now you will remember nothing, except that the planetarium is the best thing you've ever known. You missed it! You missed it because of this stupid planetarium! Planetarium suck ass! Uh, uh, uh. Carmen, you saved us! What the hell are you talking about? Get over here and untie us! Please don't fight me, Captain. The pain only gets worse when you're done. Oh. 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 around to say anything. Can you imagine it, Stan? A mind, emptied by that thing. Can you imagine a mind emptied by that thing? Without even a tormentor for company. I understand. The second episode was Spooky Fish, also from season two. It had a lot of similarities to Mirror Mirror from Star Trek. In this episode, Cartman's twin shows up from a parallel universe, but instead of an evil Cartman, the Cartman from the alternate universe is a good Cartman. In the Star Trek episode, Kirk is transported to a parallel universe where his ship is full of evil crew members. The evil Spock sports a goatee, while on the South Park, the good Cartman sports a goatee. Oh great, he's got that stupid beard on again. No, Kenny, you should cut with the blade facing away from you. You're going to hurt yourself. There you go. Isn't this fun, you guys? Carving pumpkins for Halloween. You guys are my best friends, through thick and thin. We've always been together, we're four of a kind. Having fun all day, piling around and laughing away. Just best friends, best friends are we. I love you guys. Who was here? Cartman was just here. Who are you? We're looking for Cartman. The trail ended here. Where is he? I don't know who you mean. Maybe this will jar your memory. No, stop! You don't know what you're doing! Those pets are evil! At 
Norm, Mr. Kyle. Controls at neutral. Yes, sir. Status of mission, Captain. In the South Park episode, The Wacky Molestation Adventure, the kids are left to fend for themselves after they get their parents put in prison. Similar to Star Trek's Miri episode, where Kirk and friends come upon some parentless kids. In the South Park episode, the adults are trying to get their cell phone back that the feral kids stole. In Star Trek, Kirk's trying to get his tricorder back from the kids. After giving a big Kirk-inspired speech, the kids decide to give them their cell phones back. Is that what happened to the adults here? You lied to the police and said they molested you? My god, they were your parents! Parents? The birth givers! Your birth givers! Don't you remember? They are your providers, not some statue! And they're not off in some fantastical faraway land now! They're in prison! Probably crying themselves to sleep, cold and lonely, and I'm sure missing you all very, very much. Your birth givers took care of you. That's what their laws and their rules were for, because they love you and they didn't want you to end up living like, like this. He won't take care of you. Your parents, your providers, will. Parents. Mom. Dad. Oh boy, here it comes. If you want things to be the way they were in the before time, in the long, long ago, you all need to call the police and tell them you lied about the M-word. He's right, dude. Things with cell phone, dude. Will you call the police for us? Hey, looks like you're not so bad with kids after all. Yeah, I guess you're right. Maybe we should have some. Yeah, right. After all this, I'm getting my tubes tied tomorrow. Now who's doing the hurting? Not the grups. It's you hurting, yelling, maybe killing. Just like the grups you remember and the creatures you're afraid of. You're acting like them, and you're going to be just like them, unless you let me help you. I'm a grup, and I want to help you. I'm begging you, let me help you, or there won't be anything left at all. Please. Channel open. Clear computers. In another episode, there's a teacher that the kids disfigured by burning it up while they were in kindergarten. It bears a striking resemblance to Captain Pike from Star Trek's The Menagerie. Oh, hello, Miss Claridge. Nice day, isn't it? Need help across the street, Miss Claridge? Oh, all right then. Miss Claridge, you all right? You can talk to me, Miss Claridge, I understand. One beat for yes and two for no. Don't you think you should get out of the street? Look, you, you don't have to be so cold. I'm just trying to help. Ooh, sorry! Was that really you on the screen? That's impossible. Mr. Spark, no vessel makes record tapes in that detail, that perfect. What were we watching? Captain Pike, were any record tapes of this nature made during your voyage? In the Funny Bot episode, there's a murderous robot that wants to destroy all the humans, just like the changeling robot known as Nomad in Star Trek. In both episodes, the robots are short-circuited with logic. Seeking mainframe! Hey, whoa, you can't go that way! This way! What the hell are you doing? I am taking comedy to the next level! The extermination of all biological life on Earth! Funny bud, I've been talking it over with the fellas, and actually, we think what you're doing is genius. Funny bud is simply pushing the limits of comedy. Yes, you certainly are. And for doing that, we have all decided to give you a comedy award. For what purpose is comedy award? It's a validation of all your efforts, an acknowledgement of all you do in the pursuit of humor. 
Non sequitur, there is no logic in comedy award. Unable to process. Comedy award is, what is the meaning? If I accept, it means I take comedy seriously. If I take comedy seriously, I am not comedian. Non sequitur must analyze, analyze. It's working. Explain comedy award. Unable to process. Awkward, awkward. That's it, hurry, go! What you are? I'm a biological unit and I created you. Non sequitur, biological units are inherently inferior. No mad. I made an error in creating you. The creation of perfection is no error. I did not create perfection, I created error. Your data is faulty. I am nomad. I am perfect. I am the Kirk, the creator. You are the creator. You are wrong. Jackson Roy Kirk, your creator, is dead. You have mistaken me for him. You are in error. You did not discover your mistake. You have made two errors. You are flawed and imperfect. And you have not corrected by sterilization. You have made three errors. Error, 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 examine. You are flawed and imperfect. Execute your prime function. I shall analyze error. Analyze error. Now, get those anti-grabs on it. Examine error. Error. We've got to get rid of this while it's trying to think. Mark, it's impeccable, Captain. We are in grave danger. Got it. Analyze.